I always wanted to create my own avatar, but modeling felt like a whole new class by itself. But finally, with the MetaHuman update in Unreal Engine, I can not only update my MetaHuman, I can also modify them. And I can also rig my garments now just with a few clicks, importing them from Cloth3D slash Marvelous Designer and render now my looks in real time. In this tutorial, I explain you all the steps to update your MetaHuman to the latest version 5.6 and how to bring a garment from Cloth3D slash Marvelous Designer to Unreal Engine. So let's jump right into it. Actually, we're starting in the Epic Games launcher. So just open it, make sure you have the latest version and it should be 5.6. If not, with a little plus button, you can add, add several versions. And click on the little arrow and go to options and ensure that MetaHuman Creator Core Data is enabled. If not, apply it. And then hit the launch button. Create a new project. I use film, video and live events and also use blank project. Type in the project name and hit the, and hit the create button. In Unreal Engine, I have the base level and the first thing we are doing is checking if all plugins are enabled. So you go to edit, plugins and typing in Clo and we enable Clo Marvelous Designer Live Sync and then also Substance. And then also for MetaHuman, we enable the MetaHuman Creator. Just select yes. You can now restart the engine and save selected in case. Once Unreal is restarted, we go to this little box here and open Quixel Bridge. Make sure that you're logged into your account and then go to this little MetaHuman button and to my MetaHumans. We can close this little message here. And you see, I have some current MetaHumans, but I also have a lot of like grayed out MetaHumans. So I will select one of these. And to download this one, I need to go first into the MetaHuman Creator. So I click this little Start MHC button and you need to upload your MetaHumans to version 5.5. So ensure it's here selected and then go to MetaHuman Creator starten, minus in German. I go now to my old MetaHuman versions by selecting this tab here and I'm taking here my male pants and select upgrade. Come here, it's a bit shy. And then I select upgrade to current version and yes. I'm quickly checking, I don't want to have him with the pants, so I'm also selecting the current MetaHuman and go to body and then pants and select no pants. And for the shoes I keep the sneaker, but I'm actually not sure if the sneaker will also come in the latest version. I'm just like leaving this and then I rename him also to male sneaker. I go back to the main interface, but normally it should also be uploaded already in your Unreal version. So if you go back to Quixel Bridge, you see now that we have like the latest MetaHuman download downloadable. And now we need to download the MetaHuman and this can take a while. Once it's finished downloading, you can press the import button and enable missing. Don't import and restart now. And I close this window. So we imported our MetaHuman and when you select the folder in the brow content browser, you see already here is male sneak MetaHuman character. We can double click on it and et voila, we have our MetaHuman character now imported to the latest version and can start to transform it or sculpt it. So if you go on the left panel, you see like there are some presets you could use to mix them. You can change now the body type. I would keep the body as it is because it's fitting to all of my models and it's actually the male metahuman underweight and I just leave it as it is and that's also okay. And for the hat, I can also go to sculpt now and if I want to make like some nice additional ads
as soon as I go on materials, it's also updating the materials. And I think he still had like some foundation. So probably I just go to makeup and I deselect foundation. I keep foundation, oh my God. No, he's looking very sick without. I think there is some under eye thing ongoing. Uh, it's a concealer. So let's remove the concealer and make the roughness a bit higher so he's not super glossy. And also I think we go back to the head and improving this a bit. I want a big nose and a bit of a bun, but maybe not too much. No. Oh yeah, these are nice. Keeping the hairstyle as he has, I just changed the brows and taking some like, oh, oh god, I love it. That's so good. You can so nicely modify him. Let's see what the beard is giving us. But I think I don't want a beard. beard. Mm, oh, no. Can I just remove it? I need to deselect it. Yeah, just double click on it again. And then for the details, we can change also the color. And you see like for the eyebrows, I want them darker and for the eyelashes as well. So I go the highest value and for the mustache as well, a bit darker, maybe not too, too dark. And I like the eye color as well. I think I keep it like this. But yeah, just have a look. You see all the stuff here, which you can apply. There's also somewhere where you can make everything a bit bigger. This one, cornea, and he has like really nice big eyes. And I also increase the softness. And then for hair and cloth, I go back to selection and scroll down. So I take care, there are two scroll bars and I select the outfit and I deselect it. Okay, if we want to remove the underwear, we go to materials, skin, and then you have here show top underwear, which you deselect. And then at least the top part is gone. Oh, he has no nipples. But that's it. What we need to do next is, is to rig and assembly. So for downloading the MetaHuman to your project, we select here, create full rig, and then the auto rigging is starting. And once this is done, you go to download texture source and I select 4K. This is more than enough. And I guess that's it. We have our new male sneaker. He doesn't have sneaker anymore. But if we go now in the blueprint, I'm opening the viewport and you see it's still the old one. So we save this. This button was not showing up, so I just closed the MetaHuman once and opened it again. And now I can press assemble and we'll override my actual MetaHuman. So I just press OK. OK, it seems to be finished. And then I'm going back to my folder. And now in the blueprint, we should see our new avatar. He has no shoes and I don't have shoes for him actually. Maybe I can get them from a former project. Shit, the quality is insane. I'm dying. So what we still need to change is here for the LODs. I'm changing this to zero, compile and save. So he will always show up in high quality. I hope, oh, look, it's still the hair is like kind of like going. Wow, wow, wow. And then I want to dress and I just dress him in the project. So if we put him here to zero, let's zero him out and going to glow marvelous life sync. I have this old look with shoes. I'm dying. That's perfect. We have some shoes. I'm just checking quickly the UVs, like going to the UV editor. Maybe we leave this one open here, the first tile. For the, for the shoes. Let's test it like this. And always save your project. I press quickly G to remove the icons. And then I'm selecting actually here, include garments, single object, and thin unified UVs, include garment simulation data. And we don't need the avatar. Or maybe we leave it. And a translucent. 
and I'm hitting the update button. Don't ask me again, is it running? Normally it's not taking too long and don't prompt again. Yes, and we have shoes. So don't prompt again and like this. And I think it takes a while to update. Oh, you know what? I wanna have him. No, I leave the, the hoodie down. I don't know, maybe there are too many surprises. So probably it takes a while to load all those textures. But what I will do is then pressing the save object button here. And on content, I make a right mouse click to create a new folder and I call it Clow. Selecting this, okay. It disappears and that's normal. We don't need it in the environment actually. We want now dressing him with a look. And therefore we go back to the content folder, select Clow and then skeleton mesh. Oh yeah. It's already the shoes here. Static mesh. And here I'm... Okay, a little break here. It turned out that it was not a good idea to import the shoes from the MetaHuman. It kind of broke my skeleton mesh from my MetaHuman or took something over, which was quite complicated. So I would recommend to not doing it. I had a lot of issues and we'd done the full project. So yeah, we just continue now with the garment as mentioned. So wherever I saved it, I go to the static mesh and it's called SM Garment. I make a right mouse click on it on convert to skeleton mesh. And then this one should pop out here next to it. And with a double click, I'm opening it. And if you not see this little bones here, you can always go to the little eyeball bones and all hierarchy that's showing like all your bones, you can also go to just selected bones. But if you want to test if the rigging is working, you better have like the bones visible because then you can easily select them. So for the next step, I don't need to select anything. It's just like I have here the skin tab open. I go to edit weights and then in the source skeleton mesh, I select my I select my SKM Mali body mesh, which is the name of my meta human, and transfer weights. This can take some seconds, and once it's done, I'm hitting the accept button, and also here we wait until we come back to the regular mode. I'm pressing save, close this window. Sometimes it's also helpful if you close your meta human and reopen it. I made the experience that sometimes things not showing up if you just leave it open. Maybe it's just my fault, I do something wrong. Now I'm hitting here the press the add button. I press the add button and type in skeleton mesh and then this SKM garment is showing up. I move it below the body, that's important, and then compile and save. And I close this window. Now to check if the garment is working, I create a little test sequence which I called run. As you see this one is kind of rigged. Just what I wanted to show is in this showcase I created this using this subway train project which you can find on the fab library for free. So just to give you an example it's like you go to fab which is a little button here and then automatically the shop is opening and you can type in train and if you even want to specific specify it a bit further just select free under price and then i make this a bit bigger and here it is i cannot add it automatically to my project for some things it's working for this one not you can go to view in launcher or view in my library adding it to your library and then creating a new project and use this scene and as mentioned it's completely free and it's like really nice high quality I press G and to demonstrate that we actually can do now real-time rendering without any pre-simulation I created also this sequence train where I can now play this button and you see that he's moving completely Ooh, slower please so it's moving completely without any pre-simulation and besides the weight pain, you can just use this in my scene and record or render it out. And briefly, this is a showcase I wanted to demonstrate today. If you're interested in digital fashion, in this channel, I will share with you all my workflows coming from Clothe3D, 
going to Unreal Engine over Substance. So hit the subscribe button and leave a comment and see you next time.